Uh, now I would like to tell you about introduction of Thailand cuisine. First of all, Thai cuisine emphasizes uh, foods that are simply made and have a strong aromatic and spicy undertones. And the Thai culinary specialist and Australian chef David Thompson notes that uh, unlike many other cuisines, Thai cooking is about uh, balancing many components to produce a, a unified end. It must have a smooth exterior, just like a difficult musical word, a musical chord. But what happens uh, beneath is uh, irrelevant. Here, simplicity is definitely not the rule. So there are roughly four types of uh, traditional Thai food. For the first is tom or boiled meals, and the second is yum spicy salads. Uh, the third is tom or pounded appetizers, and the last is uh, gang or curries. Chinese cuisine is where uh, where st steam and stir fried and deep fried foods uh, originated. All right, now I would like to tell you all about history of Thailand cuisine. Over the course of many countries, the culinary traditions and uh, cuisine of Thailand's neighbors, particularly those of India, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Indonesia, have affected one another. Thai cuisine was influenced by India cuisine claims the Thai monk Venerable Buddha Dasa Bhikkhu in his book India's Benevolence to Thailand. He claimed that Indians taught uh, Thai people diverse methods to employ spices in their cooking. Next, I will present about the topography of the Thailand country. Thailand has a large variety of geographical features that can be divided into four main regions. The first one is North, uh, second is Central Thailand, third is uh, North East Thailand, and the last one is South Thailand. The first one is uh, North, uh, predominantly a mountainous area, while the Middle and South are the plains. Uh, these mountains are said to be the foothills of the Himalayan ridge. Doi Etanon is the Thailand highest mountain at 2,565 meter and is located some 60 km to the southwest of Chiang Mai. Next, I will explain about the central Thailand. The main region in central Thailand is the fertile Chao Phraya, also called the Thai Rice Bowl. Chao Phraya River, which derives, uh, derives from the confluence of the Ping and Nan rivers, uh, is Central Thailand lifeline and the most important river in Thailand. Uh, next, the Chao Phraya River flows into the Gulf of Thailand. Its river is used uh, extensively uh, for agriculture. The third one is Notice of Thailand. Characterized by the Korat Palatiao, which is a red sandstone plain with an average height of 250 meter, which is 800 feet. The last one is South Thailand. The elephant trunk is the northern part of the Malay Peninsula. The Andaman coastline in the west is made up of limestone cast formation. They rise to a height of 1000 meter. Now, I would like to present about the prominent food ingredients and flavoring that always been used in Thailand. This is an example for the prominent food ingredient. The first one is Thai fish sauce, and then curry paste, rice, chili, vinegar, coconut milk, and black pepper. We also have limes, lemongrass, melangal, fresh herb, shallot and garlic, palm sugar, and soy sauce. Stay fried Thai cooking techniques bring out the true flavors in the unique ingredients common to our Southeast Asian cuisines. Every cuisine is distinctive and has its own culture identity. Even similar food items can end up tasting every uh, differently based on how the preparation takes place. Stir frying is a fast method to cook Thai food using high heat. 
This technique requires a work or a big skillet paired with a turner or spatula. To stir fry Thai dishes, add cooking oil while eating, heating up the skillet, add prepared ingredients and stick quickly to cook through. After the food cooks, it is ready to serve immediately. Steaming is cooking with a soup, sauce or brood in a consistent medium to low heat to bring out the ingredients nutrition as well as their natural natural juice and taste. This technique tenderizes your meats and seafood, blending the rich Thai paste, herbs, spice and condiment for sumptuous, flavorful results. Typically it takes early, uh, at least uh, 30 minutes or longer, but absolute satisfaction is always worth wait. Savor the iconic red, cream and yellow Thai curries, tom yum as well as the slow cooked classic masaman curry and Thai beef noodle soup. Also, try a warm and satisfied Thai hot pot. Steaming is to use a steamer to cook raw ingredients. Basically, a regular steamer contains two or three levels with a lid. Cooking with hot vapor from boiling water retains the nutrients and enrich the flavors of your dish. Steaming is also often uh, considered the healthiest way to cook. Using little to no oil, ingredients are typically marinated and arranged in a pot or plate and placed above the boiling water. The simplest way is to use a heat proof bowl to elevate your dish in a wok or a large pot. Deep fry. Have a wondrous sweet sour deep fried fish, three flavor salmon and classic soft shell crab sontam, crispy lob chicken wings, lemongrass fried chicken or fried tofu with special Thai chili sauce tea. Although this method is cooking is with boiling oil, a proper deep fried Thai dish actually absorbs very little oil in the process. Similar to stir fry, high heat is the key automatically at around 150, uh, 118 Celsius and you will need a good amount of cooking oil to let your ingredients completely submerge in it fry when frying. So use a deep pan or wok grill. Certainly the oldest cooking method in the world needs no introduction. Cook meat on a grill over the fire till fragrance and be careful not to black the outside or undercook the inside. The key difference in Thai curries are the herbs and spices that blend with your meat and seafood natural taste to create amazing flavors combinations. Toasting techniques is commonly utilized for Thai salad recipes. Thai salad dressing is mixed with fresh ingredients and blended together. This preparation method combines the salad uh, dressing with your vegetables, meats and noodles. It is simple and delicious. Thailand's Northeast region or Aisan, Aisan is famous for its grilled meats, sticky rice, strong fermented salads, and heaped plates of fresh vegetables and herbs. It's popular in all four regions in Thailand. Northeast cuisine is also the centerpiece, centerpiece of the country's gastronomy, tourism, push, and is particularly popular with first-time visitors. It's also the easiest uh, legionary variety to find outside of the region because I send workers export their food with them when employed away from home. And it's all about the balance of the flavors and taste. Spicy, sweet, sour, and salty will, will all be represented on the I send kitchen table. Northern region, also known as Lana Cuisine, visitors to Chiang Mai fall in love with their bite, with their first bite of the delicious coarse soy. Uh, it is flavor and texture contrast to minute orange and yellow coconut, curry brood, and crunchy noodles are peeled on top of the soft noodles with succulent chicken leg meat layer underneath it. There is more to Northern Thai. Southern Thai food is characterized by its spice and sharpness. Its curries and flavor profiles are the most powerful with the heat of the chili as well as sour, sour tamarind. Just like not, Northern Thai cuisine shares flavors from its neighbors, particularly Malaysia and Indonesia. Large Muslim populace, along with many fishing plates, are the major influences 
influence South, uh, Southern Thai cuisine is based heavily around seafood and meats and use a lot of lemongrass and cafe lime leaf for flavor the staples include Kain Thai Pla, fermented fish curry, Kain Som Pla, hot and sour fish soup, and Kua Kling, dried fried meat curry. Masaman, a steward curry of the meat on potatoes is another case of speciality. Central region cuisine from Thailand's center's legend probably comes with closest to what visitors view as Thai food, with well-known dishes such as Pad Thai and curry paste involving the staple ingredients of chilies, garlic, galangal, lemongrass, and shrimp base. Bangkok is at the heart of the area, with its paddy fields, plentiful river fish, and fertile soil for crops. The central region is also home to jasmine rice, a top Thai export using for cooking around the globe. It's also the birthplace of Kain Kyo Wan, the green curry, and the equally loved Tom Yam Kung, hot and sour shrimp soup. Some Tam salad also has a central region variation using brine shrimps to change the flavor. So this is the general characteristic of Thailand cuisine. For the first is Thai cuisine is a type of uh, Asian cuisine that is traditionally famous for its exotic taste of spices com combined with sweet and sour. The second is several distinct tastes dominate the dishes of this extravagant cuisine, sour, sweet, bitter, salty, and spicy. For the last is the magic of a Thai dish is in the perfect and balanced combination of these tastes. Thank you. I will pass to the next presenter. First is sweet. Sweet is a one of the essential flavors that balance salt and savory in Thai food, often palm sugar. Second is salt. Uh, in almost every Thai dish where fish sauce uh, gives salt and umami flavors, balance sour and sweet taste. Next one is savory. Savory is the main taste of most dishes that are not dessert. Seasoning adds to savory taste too. And the fourth one is umami. The taste of soy sauce, oyster, sauce, and other seasoning added as taste improves. Next is sour taste. Added to a dish by lime juice or by using tamarind paste, but other ingredients add sour taste too. We also have a bitter taste, often from bitter melon in several dishes. Fishes add ingredients in some local dishes. For the pungent taste, Thai, uh, Thais love the pungent order of durian and fermented crepe, but the uh, but not the pungent order of blue cheese. Lastly, it's spicy. Flavors of Thai are often eclipsed by the humble but fairy chili. That's all from us. Thank you.